hello, hello, my Who That Base. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Once again, I am back to share with you guys this weapon that I have here in my lap that people have been talking about here recently and that people are sleeping on. You want to take a look at her? This is the case that it comes in. And it is called the Bull Armory Government 1911. Look at her. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Look at that trigger. Look at that. Look at the trigger. That trigger is tight. And yes, it is clear. Nothing in the chamber. So, chamber. So, yes. Stainless steel fully, except for here. You can change these out. And um, yes, the, the barrel, I mean, the slide is like five inches. Um, the trigger is a 3.0 through 3.8 pounds. What else about this bad boy? Um, it, it comes in um, nine millimeter, 10 rounds. And 45, um, eight rounds. This is a 45. So it's only eight rounds. And it comes with two mags. Um, these are 45s. Can you see that? 45. Um, and they are hollow points. Yes, hollow points. And I purchased an extra one. Because this one is, just in case I'm carrying it, this is going to be what goes in it. These are for me to go to the range and load them up and, you know, how that goes. I, you need to have more than one magazine. These are for practice. This is not. And I usually want get four for each one of my weapons because I want to have two that's ready. And the other two just to practice, you know, shooting. But yeah, back to her. Um, what else about this bad boy? Uh oh, wait a minute here. Give me a second. Okay, and um, oh, let's let's talk about the um, the grip. They call the grip a G10 grip. See that right there. And also, it has an extended, um, I'm going to show you this in a fuse, but let's get to the sights. The sights are blackout. Blackout sights. And it's optic ready. And let me just close this down right here. Um, this is the extended grip. I mean, yeah, extended lever, I mean, I'm sorry. Like that, be ready. But yeah, and also it comes in black, but this is the stainless steel one. Um, you can do a lot of things with these weapons. Um, you can add an extended mag uh, thing around here so it can look a whole lot, you know, more nicer i would say but yeah i'm planning on getting that and getting a few upgrades with this um but yeah this is the 1911 bull armory um um in the 45 but i just thought i would you know do this video because everyone is um i heard some people talking about it and to my opinion, I never shot a, a Rock Island 1911. This is the first one I ever shot before. Um, maybe one of these days I get a chance to compare the compare it to other ones. But from what I was told from the guy in the gun store, that it is better than some of the ones that is you know up there. So and and for the price that it is an amazing gun so i did have taken it to the range i took it to the outdoor range and indoor range 
Um, and I do have, a, I think, a video posted of me shooting it on the outdoor range and the indoor range. But, yeah, check, check my videos out. And, um, yes, and the weight of the gun is um, 2.5. It weighs 2.5 2, um, 2 pounds. And also the grams is 1136 grams. And that is unloaded. So once you put your mag and your um, ammo in, it's going to weigh a little bit more. But it is pretty heavy. And the recoil is like this. And maybe it's just because it's me. Because, you know, I'm a female or whatever. But I handled it. I handled it. <laughs> it didn't handle me. I handled it. But, um... When I was, you know, at the range and I noticed that when I was shooting straight on, it was going like, pew, and then my bullets would go up here to the top of the head when I was trying to hit here. So I had, instead of me putting it here, I brought it here. Pew, got a dead smack in the middle. That's what I'm talking about make adjustments if it don't work make adjustments and that's what i did but i love shooting it it is the bomb i really like this weapon it is you know some people it's there's um edc but this would not be my edc mm -mm, it's too big but and also it's considered as a um competition competition gun so maybe one of these days i get in the competition oh i will be in one girls against skies wait for it but yeah this is the bull armory 1911 i just wanted to do this quick video for you guys um to talk a little bit about it of course i know there's many other ones out there but it's not one like mine but yes, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And for you all that is tuning in, thank you for tuning in. And thank you guys for liking and sharing. It is also greatly appreciated. And yes, until next time, I'll be back with another video at the range if the weather permits this time. Yes, it was cold this weekend and it was raining. So maybe we'll have a weekend where it is nice and warm and breezy, but a nice breeze, but not a cold one. And where you can just go and maybe go to the range, go on a picnic, go fishing, even ride your motorcycle. But yeah, until next time. You all, love you, peace, and love. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Be a part of history in the making. Nashville, Tennessee, let's go. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend 2022. A regular meetup followed by the RGAs. That's right, the one you've been waiting for, the regular Gun Tuber Awards. 100% people's choice. Vote for your favorite Gun Tuber for each category. Your favorite. We'll see you in Nashville.